Good afternoon, everybody, and happy Monday. It is April 4th, 2022, and I'm in Love Language Minute. Wake up call for of the fall is today's title. We put our hope in the Lord. He is our help and our shield. In him our hearts rejoice, for we trust in his holy name. Let your unfailing love surround us, Lord, for our hope is in you alone. Psalm 33, verses 20 through 22. In the fall where I live in North Carolina, the leaves began to change colors and eventually fall off the trees. That is what happens in a fall marriage. It may look good on the outside, but it is actually falling apart. In the fall season, couples sense that something is happening, but they're not sure what. One of both spouses begin to feel neglected. They are disengaging emotionally. In a fall marriage, you begin to feel sadness, apprehensions, discouragement, fear, and eventually resentment. You have neglected your relationship and have drifted apart. There is a growing concern, uncertainty, and a tendency to blame each other. That is never good. That's never going to be fruitful. The fall season of marriage is a wake-up call to seek help. See a counselor or a pastor, read a book, or attend a class. Just talk to him. Get yourself a prayer room. I think I talked, I, well, I uploaded a thing on setting up a prayer room on another, on another video. Unlike the real seasons, marriages can move from fall to spring without going through winter. But you must take action to make that happen. If you do not take action, you will soon be in the coldness of winter. The Bible reassures us that there is always hope. Absolutely. Trust in the Lord as your help, and let his love surround you and encourage you that the better days can be ahead. Lord, thank you for being our hope, for the world, for salvation, and for our relationship. Give us the courage to address the problems and do what needs to be done. Amen. The biggest thing that I can say for relationships is communication. That's what ruined my marriage. My husband didn't want to talk about anything. He just made his own decisions and backed up and moved and left. Didn't want to do anything with the with the, the divorce, nothing. Refused to sign the divorce papers. No, and that was back in the 90s. So, um, communication is key to all relationships. If you don't have communication, you will not have, your relationship will never make it. And it needs to start with him. If he's not at the center, the, re the relationship, as far as I'm concerned, is no, love, is, is no doubt going to fail. Because the darkness is going to set in and you don't have that light shining in it. That's my own personal opinion. You could take it or leave it. But that's the way I, I, I um, go through my life. And um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reference back to that Drury family um, from that uh, publication in Chrome Magazine. God, family, and business. That is the order of command, period. Not man. God, family, which would include man, then business. That's what we need to reprogram our brains with. Because man has taken his authority, given by God, and altered it to suit his needs. And it's fueled by darkness. Just saying. So, anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned. I've got more coming up. Love to all bunches and bunches. Bye.